Fute Nee, the left-handed reliever. Got the final two outs of the fifth inning. Got Giambi and Suzuki. Here in the sixth, he'll face Sweeney, Cust, and Powell. A couple of left-handed hitters and then a switch hitter. I like how you've been working on that name. You knew who I got it from? Jim Price. Oh, yeah, man, Jim Price. We have lots of favorite other team announcers because there's a lot of good guys out there that do our job for other teams. Jim Price, and I don't even know him that well. You've known him oh. for a long time. He's in like the top two, I think. He's a terrific guy. There he is on the left. That's the man. He's the catcher. 1968 world champion. Detroit Tigers. And you ask him, it's all because of him. No. No. <laughs> He's a good guy. Yes, he is. Dan Dickerson, his uh, partner, had a little running accident. He was jogging and that's right. Had yeah. knee surgery, and so he is not able to travel. Jogging is fine, but those life cycles, stationary bicycles are much better. <laughs> oh, that ball's driven deep to right center field. Go! Wow. Stay hot, Ryan Sweeney. It's been a while since he trotted around the bases, but he can do it proudly after crushing this 92 mile hour fastball. It's supposed to be a way down in, and Lefty's love that. His third and first since May the 8th against another lefty, Scott Richmond of the Toronto Blue Jays. So a great swing, and we were just talking earlier about this opposite field hitting, and home runs will come. Well, it came tonight. Nine for his last 16. Tighten that up a little bit. He's seven for his last eight. <laughs> He's hot. So the second home run of the night for the Athletics, Ellis and Sweeney. It's a 6 1 A's lead. Look at the two guys being home runs tonight. Jack Cuss, a check swing, or actually the home run on Ryan Sweeney. But Sweeney came back. See the location of the fastball missed. And when Sweeney was activated, he did not go down to rehab. No minor league play. Mark Ellis, who had a lot of extra time, did. And he talked about how important it was for him to do that, although. As he explained, it's, it's true. He says it wasn't real major league pitching because they're the minors, but still the opportunity to get some at bats. And Ryan Sweeney knew that when he first came back, he was pinch hitting. He said, Man, it looked like they're throwing 200 miles an hour. Well, and you know what? We could tell. Sure. I mean, he was laid on a lot he of fastballs. Him. Absolutely. But yet, that didn't take long for that to change. Exactly. Cust another foul ball. Count remains 0-2. So 10 hits now for the A's. And we're in the sixth. Looks like Freddie Dolce, the right-hander, will start to loosen up. Cust reached out a fielder's choice in the second and hit into a 6-4-3 double play in the fourth. Just a bit low, I guess. He thought it was a strike. Knee high. That was pretty good pitch. <laughs> Jack may have got a break. He's going to get another chance. Two and two. Swing and a miss on another slider. Well, knee does have a pretty good slider. We've seen that in the four batters that he's faced. That could be very tough on lefties. The only mistake he made was the fastball to Sweeney. 
But the slider, I've seen throw more and more of the sliders to the lefties. Landon Powell at a base hit leading off the fifth that started the three run inning. He also hit a line drive to left field in the third. He's the DH tonight. All the games in the American League are final. We gave you most of the scores. The White Sox beat the Indians six to three. That is the next team the A's will face in Cleveland. Granderson coming in. And it is major struggle time for the Indians tonight. They had a 3-2 lead going to the ninth inning at home against the White Sox. White Sox scored four in the top of the ninth, won the game 63. That would have been Kerry Wood. Was it you know, it was not off Kerry Wood, Ooh. but part of that ninth inning collapse was the young man that they got for Mark DeRosa. Oh, wow. He came in to pitch. Big prospect reliever, Chris Perez, I think his name is. That was one of the guys they got for Mark DeRosa. The Indians continue to have the worst record in the American League. With the loss, they're now 31 and 47. And the Royals beat the Twins 4 to 2, so the Tigers keep a close eye on that with the Twins in second place in the Central. I know some general managers have said that you can't penalize the manager because of poor play of the players. And I think in the case of Eric Wedge, who's a very good manager, and just a couple of years ago, very close to going to the World Series. So I'm going to see the, the Red Sox come back from a 3 to 1 deficit and go on to the World Series and win over the Colorado Rockies. He's a good manager, knows the players, and let's hope he's not the fall guy. Ellis strikes out. But Brian Sweeney, watch this sweet swing. A long home run. And the A's now with a 6-1 to one lead. 